Hello, sexy people. So a while ago, I made a video on redstone circuitry. It was like my second video on the channel, probably something like that. And it got so many views. Wow, I am surprised. I'm really surprised. So towards the end of that video, I said something like, I really hope that someone can design a computer using like basic circuitry, you know, just the, the wires, or gates and not gates, rather than using all the Minecraft trickery, like repeater locks, comparators and pistons and, and those sort of things. So what I've done, I, um, I went off and I tried to make a calculator, ran into a problem. I didn't have any way to store the data. I could always just use a piston pushing a block and that stores a bit of data, but then that just defeats the whole purpose. So what I made is this lovely circuit design here. So you have an input and you have a write enable. By default, the input doesn't do anything. I know, not very impressive, but if you turn on the write enable, you're able to use the input. I know, I know, so impressive, thank you. But there's more. If you turn on the input, and then you turn off the write enable, and you turn off the input, look at that, it's stored one bit of data. This here is a memory module. If I then turn on the write enable, it writes back to the memory module, turning it off. And this is all done with circuitry. You have a NOT gate going into a, this is a NAND gate, this big thing here, going into another AND gate, these two AND gates here, and then that going into a big weird OR gate, and kind of loops back into the AND. Now, look, you can kind of just look at this design here and make it yourself if you like, but there's something a bit more impressive that I was working on. All of this stuff here, this was all me coming up with a new design of this, because this thing's too big, this is one bit. Imagine if I wanted to store like a byte. This thing will be massive. I need eight of these. So I came up with this design and it's a lot smaller and it looks nicer. It's three wide, but it wasn't enough for me. It was really hard coming up with this design. It took a couple of days. And then I came up with this design. My God, it is tiny. So I think this is as small as I can make it. I don't think I can make it any smaller than this, but it works completely fine. So you have the the input, which doesn't actually work because we haven't turned on the write enable. And then we can actually write to the memory module. And we turn on the input and turn off the write enable. It has stored a bit of data. You turn on the write enable and it makes it, it makes the output the same as the input. So this stores the data. From this, I, I made this lovely thing here, a little calculator. You put in some numbers, plus and equals. It's just only addition. It's a four bit, four bit calculator or five bit calculator. I don't know. So what it does, it takes the input, puts them into binary. And then from that, it takes the binary and it puts it into these things here, which is, oh my God, look, big surprise, my memory module. So there's eight of these, one byte of data. It's storing. You write four bits to the bottom, storing the number. Then you switch over to the top, storing the second number. And then you have this thing here, which is a series of four full adders, which I might make a video on because it was it was really tricky finding a decent video on these. Well, I, I never managed to find a decent video on these. So the output of this adder, which is five bits, these full adders, um, then go into this decoder, which takes the binary and puts them into a, a number. So you have numbers 0, 1, 2, all the way up to 18. I could make it hexadecimal, but people don't usually make calculators in hexadecimal. So instead of going up to 32, it only goes up to 18. Ah, big deal. So this is the output, and if I show you it working, we can do the number 8 plus 9 equals, after a few seconds, number 17. It works fine. So to get this working, I also had to have this, this lovely mechanism here, which is a switch. Uh, like, like some weird switching design. I designed the circuit myself, kind of, half of it myself. I stole the other half from general Minecraft knowledge. I don't know. So what it is is this circuit here. It this one this one doesn't quite work. You have a RS NOR latch. This is the one I stole going into two AND gates. How it works is this is a new compact design. If I push the button, it goes to one of the outputs, and then what I can do is I can switch it, it goes to the other output. So I can do something like one plus one equals and it doesn't do anything but the answer's on the screen um and this is this this thing here is is right here and then i just have some lines going to it so this here is my very fancy calculator again i'll probably do a couple of tutorials on on some of the things here um especially my memory module i'm very happy with this memory module and all of this can be designed with basic computer circuitry it's not using any repeater locks comparators pistons or anything like that and i just wanted to kind of show it off a little bit otherwise all this work was for nothing thanks for watching